Hey guys, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana here. Oily fingers. Sometimes my bike doesn't change gears very well. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, it's a Saturday morning. It's um, October the 24th. I got work today, and um, but I thought I'd come for a bike ride before I go to work. Went out for dinner last night, so got a bit extra sodium and uh, fat that I need to burn off. <laughs> nah, the meal was really delicious. Um, so I've come up to the hill, and the reason I actually wanted to speak to you was because I was having, I put up a post yesterday, and it was pitched, it was a little short movie, or video clip, and it was of a guy who's picking up um, a calf in the paddock of cows and about three cows came charging towards him and then the calf fell out of his hands and that was it really so I <coughs> so I decided you know I'll post that um, there's nothing so no, you know blood and guts it's not a slaughterhouse video and I just said along the lines of you know this is where your milk comes from along with all animals a you know another being has to be born for milk to to be made and then um this was not on my personal page it was on like a, a page that I have just assigned for you know my kiwi banana stuff and then this person I can kind of understand where they're coming from I mean they come from a dairy farm they their family relies heavily on dairy farming. I'm not going to name this person because they, they might as well, you know, you don't need, no one needs to go after them or anything like that. This is not what this video is about and that's not the sort of thing that I promote. Um, and they were really upset by the video. Um, they were basically saying that they were sick of seeing people betraying farming as a really bad thing and um, and that our country wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for farming. So I commented back saying that I'm, uh, well, in their comment they'd sort of said that like it was, um, I'm trying to find the right word, they were, that it was sort of naive for me to be posting something like this and, you know, and if I don't know what goes on day to day farming then I shouldn't be posting anything like that. And I just replied back, well, I have worked in the dairy f industry. I'm not naive to what goes on for dairy farm every day. I know what goes on on dairy farm a lot more than many other people that I know. And, um, you know, not that I'm proud that I worked in the dairy industry and be involved in that rape, murder and, and torture that goes on there. But, um, <coughs> but they then, oh, yeah, and then I just mentioned, like, Dairy farming makes up about 7% of our gross domestic product in New Zealand, which is not even that much considering the amount that, that the media um, publicises it and pushes it being, you know, a big main um, economic driver for us. And, you know, and I understand, like, where we are today is probably from agriculture. However, you know, there's nothing... I shouldn't say there's nothing. We can change. We can, we can alter the... Uh, uh, economic structure if you want you know if you're worried about the monetary system in New Zealand you can change what you can change farm and you can convert your dairy farms to other farms and I know it's a very expensive thing to do and that's not something I'd put back in the comment because I know that would hurt the person so yeah I just said there's other ways around you know making up that 7% loss that we would get if we stopped dairy farming altogether and then um and another friend of mine had commented as well, Morning. being like, you know, why, like, why, um, like, um, why would they find it offensive? Like, this is what goes on. It's not like people need to know where their where their food comes from, because you know, if we consider ourselves intelligent beings, then we need to educate ourselves where the food comes from and well, anyhow no, no. <laughs> I'm just recording for a YouTube channel sorry 
Um. Good morning, Christchurch! <laughs> Is that good enough for you? <laughs> it's not quite along the topic, but yeah, thank oh, you. Well. People are too soft. So yeah, I've kind of lost the trail of thought on my videos. Um, probably because there's some rambling on here. Anyway, I might leave this here. <laughs> Um, that guy was on his own buzz. Anyway, like I was saying, the friend of mine also was commenting on like why shouldn't people um, see this? And because I was saying that, you know, if we consider ourselves intelligent beings, then we should at least know where our food comes from, you know, and how does it get to our plate, and you know, and that applies to all people, you know, whether you're a vegetarian or a vegan or a fruitarian or, you know, or you're an omnivore, you know, you should educate yourself on, you know, where does your food come from, what goes into getting it to your plate, and, um, yeah. And then of course a troll came along on and started commenting on that and was just sort of saying stuff like, you know, um, I love animals, meat's delicious. And then I went to comment back and soon after the person that had originally commented on there had deleted all their comments. So that was a real shame. Um, I feel like having conversations about matters like that are, are really important. Um, and people need to see things like that, you know, and they need to see both sides of the, of the spectrum and make their own decisions. And, um, <coughs> you know, if, if you consider yourself a humanitarian, then you'll make that choice. If you consider yourself an environmentalist, environmentalist then you'll make that choice. If you consider yourself one that cares about your health and or other people's house, then you'll make that choice. And if you consider yourself an animal lover, you'll make that choice. You know, that choice is to be a more compassionate being, to become more vegan, I guess you could say. And I believe that <coughs> one day the world will be more vegan whether that's forced upon us or whether that's through our own choice. I would prefer that people had the choice than it being like, right, you have to be more vegan because there is no more land, there is no more water, we've wiped out all the species, we've done this, we've done that, and now you have to eat corn because that's the only thing that we can grow, you know? Yeah. I thought I'd just do a video on this um, and encourage you guys to have more conversations um, with people who may not see out of the same lens as you do. Um, I'm starting to embrace more and more of my awareness, I guess you could say, or my, my truth, what I really think and what I really feel. I don't want to hide it anymore. I want to start speaking how I really how I really think and you know others may think that's weird and that's okay yeah I think I'll finish this up here and uh, I want to encourage you to speak your truth and I hope you've done something that makes you happy today see ya